Joining me now is Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois, a member of the House Oversight Committee, and Kurt Bardella, advisor for the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Thank you all for being here. And Congressman, I want to start with you on this. Uh, did you feel that this hearing, with Republicans essentially serving almost as defense counsel for the people who invaded our Capitol from the clips that I've seen of it, did you feel like we got somewhere in this hearing today? Well, I think that we further exposed how they're not only just accommodating uh, the, uh, the, the crazies, you could say, but they're encouraging them. And what we learned from uh, the testimony uh, of the FBI director, as well as others, is that when you encourage these folks, they get uh, to be violent. And that violence affects everybody, and it manifested itself in an ugly fashion, obviously, on January 6th. And you had a, a bit of a contentious uh, exchange with FBI Director Ray uh, when he essentially said he couldn't talk about leaks, subpoenas, et cetera. Uh, did you feel that he was being evasive? Did you feel that he was forthcoming in a way that you uh, that we needed him to be as a country? Unfortunately, he was evasive, Joy. Um, he absolutely was involved with this uh, secret subpoena scandal, uh, not only probably with the press, but also with the House Intelligence Committee and the Democratic members, their staff and family members. And, uh, you know, we can't get to the bottom of this if the FBI director continues not to answer very straightforward questions about this scandal. And before I bring in Kurt, I, I have to ask you one more question about just as we set this up, you know, the idea that you had Trump aides uh, attempting to get the Justice Department to get involved in overturning the election. It sounds like January 6th began before January 6th uh, and, and may be continuing to this day, um, not just through the President of the United States, the Department of Justice, uh, the people who did the January 6th insurrection, but also some Republicans. What do you make of, of this new development? I agree. And I think that unless we get to the truth of exactly what happened before during and after January 6th, we're not going to see the end of January 6th. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we have the problem about uh, the, the Trump White House trying to pressure the Justice Department to basically file a lawsuit to overturn the election in six states, namely the states that Trump lost. But we also have the problems of January 6th. Uh, today, we again learned about the long delay between the time that there were urgent requests for assistance that were made to the D.C. National Guard and to the Secretary of Defense and uh, the delayed, the huge delay in response. Um, and then we also learned that not everyone has been brought uh, to account, to held to account after January 6th for what they did that day. And so we have to deal with all of these issues now.